Why is there a strange man in my house who's shoved a pole up my DS's ass? Uh, excuse me, can I maybe have that? You can't go and treat somebody's game console like a Kardashian. That's, that's really rude. All right, then. If that's how it's going to be, then I'm just going to have to cheese this. We'll rapid tap, and eventually you are going to... Fall into my trap. I love that my mom doesn't seem to care about the fact that there are strange adults entering the house, but she really, really cares about the fact that I could play five minutes of Nintendogs. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Hidden My Game by Mom 4, where it seems like Mom's full-time job is to prevent us from so much as looking at a Nintendo DS. Like, while she's definitely been a complete psychopath for 14 days straight, she's also been relatively tame, you know, in comparison to what we've seen in past games, which is concerning because she is very much the type to escalate. So I'm hoping today we can both walk away with our game and a uh, remaining shred of sanity. Now, I like to think I'm one of the most experienced people on this planet when it comes to dealing with this woman, and I've got a couple of real basic rules to abide by. Like, we don't open cabinets in this household, because you never know when she's gonna be sitting on the couch in the other room like a completely normal person. Oh, right. We knew this already, because we ended off last episode contemplating whether or not the DS was actually our father. Because we've never actually met our father, and the DS is always real buddy-buddy with mom. Please tell me that console doesn't have the ability to vibrate. <laughs> because if it does, ew. I'll put it to you guys this way, if I catch a magic carp, I don't want my hands to then smell like one. Fortunately, the DS is white, so if we have to bleach it, we can. We just need to get it away from the ever-vigilant mom. I guess that means we can go in the cupboard and grab a very concerning costume. Why is it that my mind automatically assumes that mom wears it for the console? <laughs> Ew, okay, well we also got a coat hanger. Hey mom, on a scale of one to pregnant, how you doing today? Do you need this? Could we maybe, uh, ooh? All right. I got her to turn her head. Did you want to wear this? I'm not here to kink shame. Maybe now that she's looking the other way, I can just grab it. Okay, so what was the costume for? Other than you scarring me into my adulthood. Well, I think it's pretty safe to say our no cupboard rule isn't going to go very far this time around. The good news is we know exactly which one mom is hiding in. But the bad news is the other two seem to have guard pigeons. If that's even a thing, like I would imagine they have to be in the house for a reason, right? So what exactly could a guard pigeon do? I, I've heard of bark being worse than bite, but what about pigeon poop? So all three of these are a no-go. All right, then we could always uh, grab our ball or balls. What's a guy supposed to do with his balls in a household that has no privacy? Oh, what if we threw it at the pigeon guard? There we go. Wait, are we not at all concerned about where that ball just went? I always assumed that it was a blue floor and a blue wall and our mom just had really poor taste, but it just kept going off into the distance until it disappeared. All right, that, that's a whole other can of worms that we're not going to open right now because we have a cupboard to open instead. We throw that, we can open you, and mom can watch all of this happening, yet does nothing to stop it. Is she stuck? I don't think she has a step bro to cry out to for help. <laughs> Some of these jokes, man, I'm telling you today, it, it, it's bad. These weird Asian mobile games always give me so much time to talk, which means I just kind of say the first funny thing that comes to my mind and then immediately regret it. I don't really have a filter or a way of mentally bookmarking these things for later. Okay, that's uh, not particularly helpful. We've also got a broom and no snake. Good. Don't ask why I'm concerned with the fact that there are venomous snakes in the household. Okay, it's just it's a whole thing. Mom is 
strange. So our options right now are what? Smack her with a broom or... I don't even know what this is. Is it a bookmark? Is it... Oh! I've seen this kind of thing before. You see, that's a cultural difference. In all reality, I've only seen it because Sailor Mars Honey. throws them at people. <laughs> Listen, okay? I was a kid once. I watched Sailor Moon. They were hot. Grandpa, if I've said it once, I've said it a thousand times. You can't be drinking all day. You gotta eat some solids. Maybe I can find you... A drone? Okay, not quite as edible as I was hoping for, but he needs some fiber in his diet. There's a reason that pillow he's always squatting on is soft poop brown, and trust me, you don't want to know. I would recognize those creepy chicken claws anywhere. <laughs> Maybe we can find a little Mama! help Take over here. Saw. Wow. I kind of figured her bending over backwards to not change Grandpa's poop pillow was figurative, not literal. So maybe we can get some help behind curtain number two? Uh, oh. Okay, what if we try charging the drone? Interesting. Don't know what a charged drone is gonna do for us. We can't exactly bomb Mom like she's an oil-rich Middle Eastern country. Can I give this to you? Uh, oh. I don't really want to get my game if it's underneath that. <laughs> Ew. Alright, yeah, now, disadvantage to being a white Nintendo DS. You gotta take the good with the bad. I've always wondered what my sister is doing sitting at that desk all day while I'm running around risking my life. I mean, I I'm not gonna touch her because she'll bite my head off. Then again... Might be easier to recover from that bite than a venomous snake. Oh, come on. <laughs> do you see what I was talking about earlier? Do I really have to do this? All right, fingers crossed it doesn't bite me. All right, we need to look at the bright side of things. Yes, technically I did just kill grandpa, but I, I did find my game and I did manage to bottleneck the diarrhea tsunami. So I've tried interacting with her, and it's an automatic game over. There's nothing in the tree, there's nothing in the vase, and I can't do anything with Grandpa, so I have to be missing something here. Would it be, like, a, a random hole in the wall? Oh, that's clever. Look at the top right-hand corner, the menu button. When I change rooms, it gets... streaky? Okay, we've got streakies. I would imagine I give them to you? Because Grandpa's snake bait, you have to be here for a reason, so we could just... Oh. Okay. We took her recorder. <laughs> she was just sitting at the desk doing nothing. Probably a whole lot safer than what I've been up to, but now we give that to you. You can charm the snake into biting... You? Ooh, okay, Kyle, I'm just gonna grab this and run away, you know what? <laughs> I'm not gonna wait things out, it's only a matter of time until he's done. You know what, I may make fun of Grandpa a whole lot, but he was the closest thing to a father that I ever had. So maybe if he wants to play baseball, we could oblige. We go get ourselves a bat, I like it. And remember to open the window first, very important step. All right, batter up, there we are. I'm just gonna hit all these. Are you proud of me yet? I have a positive male figure in my Take life. All right, you old bag. I should have let the snake have its way with you. I was kind of hoping we could just avoid this whole dance monkey dance situation, but it seems Grandpa has infinite balls, which I guess makes sense. He did fight in World War II, so we're just gonna send a couple of these down eight floors. Sucks to be somebody in the street right now. <laughs> Try not to hit the game. All right, well then, see you later, yeah, Gramps. Yeah. I got more fun things to do. Why is there a strange man in my house who's shoved a pole up my DS's ass? Uh, excuse me, can I maybe have that? You can't go and treat somebody's game console like a Kardashian. That's, that's really rude. All right, then, if that's how it's going to be, then I'm just going to have to cheese this. We'll rapid tap, and eventually you are going to... Fall into my trap. I love that my mom doesn't seem to care about the fact that there are strange adults entering the house, but she really, really cares about the fact that I could play five minutes of Nintendogs. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Grandpa, you know you're not allowed up on that couch. That used to be a white couch. 
<laughs> That's why we got the poop pillow to begin with. You better not let mom find you, or otherwise she's gonna release the cobras. I, I think he's got my game under there. He wouldn't tattle on me, would he? Oh, interesting. Don't think we're gonna look out the window anytime soon. Well, it looks like all I've got to work with is a pack of gum, so hopefully we can use this to bribe the old bugger? Come on, Grandpa. Why don't we be friends? I'll give you a stick of gum and a mild heart attack or not. A heart attack would have been the normal response. I don't think you should really react by giving your best Riley Reed impression. <laughs> Grandpa, can you please close your legs? Like, we don't need the whole house smelling like ball sweat and aqua velva. <laughs> All right, I got a toy. That's, wait, that's not my game. What, why would I? Oh, the game's underneath the couch, right. So, can I do something like this? There we go. All right, see you later, Grandpa. Daddy! <laughs> Should we be concerned? He's not moving. This, this might be like a, a weird seizure position. It's times like these I feel the need to point out, we don't have a dog. So I don't really know what's going on here, but if I can jump out the window, then all the better. Nope. Um... I mean, this could be a fireplace, this could be a, a missile silo. I'm not gonna touch the strange dog. I know it's just gonna go ahead and bite me or call the cops. Oh, maybe it's a police dog. If I get you to listen to me. Okay, we've got a dog. And then I don't really wanna throw the dog in the fireplace, <laughs> but there's, there's nothing else, right? So, oh, you move. Interesting. Can you, like, help? Uh... He's borfing. Oh! Ha-ha! Wait, I didn't even need the dog! I could've just tapped around randomly. The dog helps, but, you know, I I'm not beyond just spamming fingers and hoping the mom isn't in the wall. Grandpa, why is it you take interest in her hobbies, but not mine? You're gonna go and help her with a fire Instagram post, but you won't read out a guide for Phantom Hourglass? It's just completely ridiculous. So I'm just gonna go and get eaten by a goddamn clown. Isn't that right? I'm gonna come over here Mama. and... You know what? Close enough. So now comes the time where I just kind of start clicking around and, uh, yeah, okay, took a picture of me. Fine, can I take that now? Nope. Still working with nothing. I'm just gonna go for the game. Screw it. We Daddy. No mom is in the sewer. Was it really that easy? Listen, I may have overthought that last level, but I'm 95% sure that that's a trap hole. So we're just gonna avoid that for now and uh, maybe head over here. See if there's a... Oh, that's a mom behind a ball if I've ever seen one. Not interested. Grandpa, do you mind if I borrow your shadow? Perfect. Just gonna... Pop that there. I don't know why that works, but uh, I'll, I'll take it. You know what? Not to toot my own horn, but mom has been getting rolled and smoked this entire episode. And there's only five days left. So I'd imagine we're about to see some desperation. We've got uh, dinner plates on the ground, as well as food. We've got a frozen carrot, thawed meat, and yogurt. Yeah, you know what, with a diet like that, I can imagine why everybody in this household is either crazy or constantly shitting themselves. So what exactly am I trying to feed? Nothing. Okay, I find that hard to believe. We know for a fact if we touch the pudding cup, our sister is gonna turn us inside out. So let's go with the frozen carrot. Maybe I can somehow have Frosty track down my game? No? Just look away, give you a second of privacy, look back, and uh, of course my game comes galloping in riding on a friggin' zebra. <laughs> Do you see what I mean about desperation? There's no way I can take that from you, is there? I don't even want to risk pissing you off. If I look away again and then look back, will you be gone? No? Okay, you finished your meal. Now you'll leave and give me my game? No dice? All right, uh, I guess we could try the meat. <laughs> Don't think you're much of a meat eater, though. It's raw, so we'll lay that down, turn, look back, and it's alone. <laughs> God Take damn it, I don't suppose you saw where the zebra went with my game. 
honest question, are zebras dangerous? I know they just look like striped horses, but at the same time, when you're at the end of the alphabet, you gotta be a little bit sketchy, right? Like if I try to grab my game... Okay, I thought it might kick me in the throat, but it just kind of ran away. So now, if I get the lion to come in, you're not gonna be able to run back. There come we in. go. <laughs> All right. Not even gonna question why there's an entire zoo in my house. Good morning, Grandpa. How's your breakfast of five cups of coffee going? I'm sure that'll be great on your guts, but it could be even better with a uh, uh, sixth and a, a seventh. I was gonna say with a venomous snake, but no, seven cups of coffee. That, that's a, a well-rounded breakfast. Oh, Mom looks like she could really use one of those cups, though. All right, well, fortunately, Grandpa has more than enough to go around. See how many I can grab before pissing him off. Are we cool? Oh, oh, I can only hold four things at once. I've never had this many items. All right, well, we can give you one cup of coffee. Uh, you gonna drink it or two? All right, three. Interesting. Four. Keep it going, keep it going. We can get even more. I'm not gonna take from you. I'm just gonna leave you alone for a second. I, I should only need five, right? There we go. If I give her a sixth and it all tumbles, am I screwed? It looks like she's trying to lay an egg on my game. I'm just gonna take it. I, th I think I might be good. Oh my god, I swear, if I go to touch something in this room and Mama. she loses her mind because I haven't disinfected first. We've got animals shitting all over the house and grandpa shitting all over the house. And she's got my DS to the point where it smells like a freaking lobster farm. And yet my hands are the dirtiest thing here. Really? Fine then, we will disinfect, and then we will open, and then we will disinfect, and then we will open, and then we will disinfect, and we will pull things down. And I'm just gonna keep doing this until I find my friggin' game. There it is. Honey. Day 30, Mom, this is it. Pull out your A game. What have you got for me? All right, well, that's probably not gonna work. I got a screwdriver. Uh, do I need a screwdriver for this? It doesn't look like it. You've reached the playtime limit, so you cannot play anymore. I'm sorry, what? What do you mean, playtime limit? It's not like there's any amount of energy. Oh, wait, I, I see. Aren't you trying to be clever? This isn't one of those games with energy and you gotta buy like microtransactions and no, 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 no. This is a game about Games? Or photo albums? Huh. Okay. What, are we just gonna sit here for uh, a, a couple of weeks? Couple of uh, 30 years? Yeah, we're just gonna look at this photo album for about 30 years. Oh, it's negative a thousand days, so negative 30 years. So, who's this idiot? Is that our dad? Oh yeah, the games are old now. Interesting. Can I screw this up? Oh, we got a charger. That seems important. And another stick of gum. All right, all right. So what if we plug you in like that and then get you with the stick of gum? Oh, you are kidding me. It's Grandpa, and it's, it's quite clearly Grandpa. <laughs> I, I'd recognize that pose anywhere. And mom, mom was the same way. She used to play games. And, and now I, she's too good for games. Is that how this works? I can't believe this right now. <laughs> I still think we should call an ambulance. He's quite clearly not in a good place. Like it's a hernia or, all right, no, just, just snap a picture. God, your hands were not looking good at that time. And Grandpa's back never did recover. All right, you know what I think? That's gonna be it for this episode of Hidden My Game by Mom 4, guys. That's all the Hidden My Game by Mom games. I don't know if they're ever gonna make another one. I don't know if you guys are ever gonna see another one, but if you do, then as always, be sure to leave a like in this video, leave a comment letting me know, and maybe I'll return for that or another weird Asian mobile game again soon. But thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.